Okay, now we're going to go to all fours. So follow me. All right, your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Palms are open. Knees are underneath your hips, 90 degrees. So we're going to do a little cat and cow, as they call it in yoga. And uh, this is a head and a tail connection. A head and a tail connection. And we'll do a cat, which is head to tail underneath. It pulls the belly button up through your spine, lifting up out of your shoulders. And then a cow, head to tail the other direction, and we're lifting up. So I'll do that one more time. Cat, head to tail under. Cow, head to tail curved upward. Oh, Luann, did you have something to say about this? I did want to say, because I'm interpreting, I'm not copying Heather right now, but most of the time, I, I really yeah. want to warm up. Yeah. You have to warm up before everything, for interpreting, for acting, for giving a presentation. It just makes it so much easier. I'm not because I'm interpreting. The other problem I have with my back is I have, my, my bones are fused, so I can't make that beautiful arch or curve. But that doesn't mean that I should not do this exercise. So if you have a problem, a physical problem, you need to adapt. You need to figure out yourself, how am I going to change it to match my, my body? Don't just look at it and go, I can't do that. Forget it. No, 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 no. Watch what Heather does and copy best you can. And you'll start to feel in your own body how much you can do. Just That's attention. great, and I don't know if you knew this, but I have scoliosis in my back. So I have some friends who are beautiful movers who have this big curve in their back. What I'm showing you today is my best. What Luann would show you, it may look to you like she's not doing the exercise. But in her body, she can feel it. And that's what we're looking for in the warm-ups. It's not a competition of who's the stretchiest. It's for you. So I'm going to do that cat and cow one more time with that in mind. So here we are again. And we have a nice neutral spine. So the way to actually find that for yourself is to take it as high as you can and then take it as low as you can, kind of drop your, um, drop your body through your shoulders and then find like this kind of a midpoint. And that's your neutral, your middle spine. So let's do, let's do four sets. And here we go. We'll do a cat first. Ready? And one. One and two and two and three and three and four and four. Good. We're going to go back onto our heels. So I'm going to try to sit on my heels. Now, again, some people have flexibility back in their Achilles tendons and I don't have much. So your heels may be on the floor, but mine aren't right now. So we're just stretching there. Then we're gonna walk back out. We're gonna go to a high V, a high V. Heels down into the ground. Walk your hands to your feet. Sit in a chair, hips back. Stand and open. Nice job. 